Hi guys, now upon editing this video I decided it's probably best that I add a little disclaimer in here explaining the situation before the video goes on for any worried parties out there. So this video is based on teaching Danielle how to rehouse her very first tarantula sling. Now these were the slings that I got as freebies along with my purchase of the M. Balfouri communal. Now I know the M. Balfouri video came out last week probably by the time this comes out but I just wanted you guys at home to know that this video was actually recorded on the very same day. I did not leave them in the vials with the tissue for another week before rehousing them. Just wanted you guys to know that just in case you were concerned. Let's crack on with the video. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. So in today's episode, I'm here with my partner and my teammate, Hello. Danielle, and I'm going to be showing her how to rehouse slings. Now, if you'd like to tell the camera your experience with tarantulas so far. I don't have any. None, none no. whatsoever. Do you like them? Nope. Doesn't like them. <laughs> what is it that bothers you? Their eyes and legs and fur. So basically overall she doesn't like them at all, but she has agreed today to rehouse a sling. Now I'm going to start off first. These are the two that were provided to us as freebies from House of Bugs. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. So I'm going to be doing the H. Gigas because even as little slings they can have horrible temperaments. And she's going to be doing our lovely little Brachypelma albopolossum, our little curly hair. So it should be a nice, easy starter one for her. Now I'm hoping by the end of this video that she will have a little bit more respect, as it were, for the tarantulas, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Probably so, not. <laughs> so anyway, let's give it a go and see what happens. Okay guys, I did actually film to the point where I was putting this H. gigas out of the tub into this, explained to Danielle how to put in the substrate and things like that. And then when that recording finished, it sat there and said it was unable to write to the memory card so we have lost a lot of footage here but hopefully the rest of it will still work out and you can see Danielle doing hers because I know that's the whole point of this video really <laughs> so so far we've taken the tissue out from the H gigas we've placed it in there and I've took a little bit of the first layer off so if I have a quick zoom in a little black dot there there's our tarantula and we're going to try and get him out now Oh, there's actually a little hole at the back that you can crawl out of if you wants to. And there we have it. Went through the hole in the bottom nice and easy there we are our little H Giga sling and now it's going to be Danielle's turn okay so there's her sling pot there she's just going to go put in some of the substrate so if you want to grab a bit place it in the pot and then start pressing it down the best you can because they don't like it when it's really loose substrate Enough. Awesome. Good job. Okay, so if you want to pick up the pot and remove that lid. Yeah. Okay, hold it down a bit so the camera can see where you are. So yeah, so you want to take that first little bit. If you're able to get it in one, pull it all in one and put it straight in. Keep an eye for any openings in the tissue because you don't want to be grabbing the tarantula either. Scared. Right, as you can't see it, we still need to do it from the front. So pull that back. There we go. That's out. So now we need to be able to kind of see where it is. So can you see it in that opening at all? No. So then we need to un start unraveling oh, it. Oh, wait, okay. I think that's mud actually in it here. Yeah. So just start unraveling it. It's not going to bite you. Oh, 
I'll just take that bit off if it's easier. Right, can you see? There you go. Look, what, there it what? is. Where is it? I don't see it. So there is a dark patch inside. So if you want to take this bit of tissue and just rip it off because it's just going to get in the way because that pot is too small for the amount of tissue we've got. Try and take a bit more of this edge off so then it can sit in there. And then we want to try and open it up the best we can. So if you use your hands and the tongs. Because he has a leg. You got uh, one second. We forgot. Let's what? move this over here because you need to have a catch up in case he jumps out. My bad. Something I needed to remember <sighs> at the start, really. You better not jump out. I'm doing that. So are you nervous? Yeah. So if we lift this upwards, you should be able to see it now. I'm just going to zoom in quickly for the camera. That's it, there it is there. Okay. So. Let's do the what? Let's place it down a minute. Give it a slight tap. <laughs> there we go, see, it's fine. Oh, it moves. It's gonna move, we want it to move, we want it to come out. So I'm gonna, can you rip that end bit off for me? Oh, what the I'll hell? I'll hold it down, you can rip it off. Okay. This is mine, get off. So you don't want to put any pressure on the tarantula because they are fragile, but you can give it that slight nudge to get it to move oh my God, into hard. the enclosure. Now it's gonna to run towards this side. So if we put it down like that, still holding on. There we go. So if you want to get your lid before he runs out. Let's just take a look. Oh, we've got a bit of glare on there. And there we have it. So this was just a basic video here today guys, just a small one <coughs> so I could introduce rehousing swings to Danielle. So everyone write in the comments, let her know how she did so that she can read back and hopefully you've left some, some positive comments rather than negative. I personally think she did very well because she is terrified, she does have arachnophobia, so for her to be rehousing her first sling I think was brilliant, so well done you. Thanks. So let, let us know before we go what, what your thoughts were as you were doing that. I was scared because it moved more than yours did. <laughs> and I thought it was going to come out and it ran away. But it didn't, did it? No. So I'm just going to leave it there, guys. It was just a quick video today. I hope you liked it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Again, like I said, leave a comment below. Let us know how well she did for her first ever rehousing. And I'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.